probably one of the most enjoyable and challenging parts of engineering new products is solving problems and coming up with great solutions to do that. So with Force Point, we knew we wanted damping, but we needed that damping to occur and be durable over millions of cycles. We need to do it in a very low profile package so it could be packaged in an e-brace and we needed it to be um, lightweight. And we found though, to get enough force in a small hinge that could be medically beneficial in a large knee brace, the loads were extraordinary. You, if you have a, a foot and a half long knee brace and you're achieving this damping with the leverage of that 10 to one, means the forces in those little parts are 10 times that of what they might be, for instance, in the knee brace. So we had to do two things. First, we use super alloys. We use very high yield strength steels. And we also have them layered, very much like in the, if you've ever looked in the back of a pickup, the multiple leaf springs. So by virtue of having multiple leaf springs of the highest strength alloys available, we're able to achieve loading of a few pounds on the brace side, even though on the inside, those components are exposed to extremely high stresses of 100,000 PSI. By incorporating both four points of leverage and force point technology, you in essence have double insurance. You're gonna keep the knee out of the at-risk position, but in the event you are at risk because of an enormous load, you have that four point technology to load the tibia in the direction it, it, it wants help in. 